Yarn and More. I'm making another video the same day I posted my thank you one. But I just got back from Hobby Lobby. I was watching V from Steals. Oh my gosh. Uh, steals the show. Steal. Steals the show. Crochet. Crochet chef and more something like that I think you probably know who I'm talking about but I was watching her videos and I saw the one she did with the Hobby Lobby the notions and crochet and knit accessories and stuff and how they were 50% off and I looked down at my phone and it was 6:30, and the Hobby Lobby didn't close at 8 till <laughs> they didn't close until I'm sorry I'm so excited um, they don't close till 8 so I'm like you know what I have to hurry up and get there so what was like kind of postponing me a little bit was this top that I made um, I used the premier rodeo yarn which I think no longer exists I think it's discontinued but it's a four weight, hundred percent cotton yarn. Actually, it feels more like a three weight to me. Um, to be honest, I don't like this yarn too much because I find it to be very splitty. It's really loosely wound, and it was a little bit of a pain, but that's okay. Cause I made a top. I still have to sew in all my ends, but this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? It's kind of like. A shorter top like a pendulum top the only thing I don't like is when I the sleeves you know they seem normal and everything but there's a slight pull in the armpit so I tried doing their redoing the sleeve several times and it just it just is what it is but this is what it is it's purple it's purple on white and white with purple does that make sense so it's a shorty but it's super cute and I it's it's comfortable and I really like it uh, I can't stand up because the camera is like right in front of me but this is what the top looks like anyway I'll get used to the armpit thing so back to <laughs> I was working on the sleeves and that's why it took me a little longer to get to Hobby Lobby um, but I was like trying to crochet really fast because I'm like, oh, I, I don't want to forget how I was doing these sleeves, but I want to get to Hobby Lobby before they close because tomorrow's Sunday and um, they're closed all day. And then this the 50% off will be over with and I would have missed the bow and I, would, I brought my paddles. So I did manage to get there in time and... I got some stuff, y'all. I got some stuff. And I don't know if I said sorry about the lighting. It's like going dim and then light and dim and light. My camera's trying to adjust. So sorry for that. Um, anyway, I got some stuff. But first I want to say, every now and then I drink tea, right? I'm not the hugest tea drinker. I mostly drink coffee. I love coffee so much. But there's a tea that I really, really love this flavor. I was in Walmart one day and I was in the tea slash coffee aisle and I was trying to, th I was trying to drink more tea than coffee, right? So, um, I was looking at the teas and I got a whiff of something and it smelled so like good, like like a citrusy kind of smell, but like a mix of citrusy, you know? And I'm like sniffing all the boxes, like I'm pulling them off the shelf and I'm like, nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> and I was putting them back and then I came across it, y'all. If you ever get a chance and you are a tea drinker, okay, this tea is amazing and I say that as a coffee drinker okay so if you find the Tezo wild sweet orange okay in the store grab it this tastes so good if you love citrus you will love this it is heavenly it is heavenly okay enough of that so 
Um, now it's time for the Hobby Lobby haul. I know I've been putting it off. I've been teasing you a little bit, but I'm so excited. Okay, so I've been making these uh, buff puffs, you know, for the shower. And um, they are super cute. I got the pattern from um, Creative Grandma. And it's a tad bit looser than I really want it to be, but it's still, it's still nice compact ball. And you know what's so great about these? Like, when I, get, when I go to Walmart or any place and I get myself a buff puff, and you know, it's that ni mesh nylon thing, and it falls apart in like two weeks, and or it gets really loose and just like flops around. So I just really wanted to make my own. And what's so great about these is it takes about one and a quarter little ball of yarn, of cotton yarn. Like I used, oh, where did I put it? Oh. I used like the Crafter Secret from Hobby Lobby. The Crafter Secret cotton, okay? This is just one of them. Um, they don't all have the same yardage, which is kind of odd. But I used one whole one of these and very little of a second one. Um, and that's for the 120 yard one. Um, this one here is Crafter Secret, Secret Cotton and it's, called, it's the color called Valentine's. And this one's only 95 yards. It's not 120 yards like the other one. Anyway. So the cool thing about these is you don't have to spend like three or five bucks on a buff puff or bathroom poof, shower poof, whatever you want to call it, whatever, okay? You can make one of these, okay, with two of those, which These are originally $2.29, but I hit the 30% off sale, okay? So let's just say five bucks, all right? And when they get, like, they, whenever they need washed, okay, because they're cotton, you could just throw it in the washer and dryer and reuse it over and over and over and over again. And then you don't have to worry about your buff puff falling apart. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to the Hobby Lobby thing. Again, I digress, but I'm just excited about so many things. You know, I've made three of these and it's like maybe an hour. Anyway. <laughs> so I went to Hobby Lobby. I needed a G-hook. Yes, I was on the topic of Hobby Lobby. I needed a G-hook because I wanted to make one just a little bit smaller. So I got myself a G-hook. I really like these hooks. It's like a boy hook head. Um, these are originally $3.49 and I got it for half off. And I got myself a G-hook. I, I like the grip on these. They're really comfortable. I don't have any issues. Um, I had bought an, a size H one, 5.0. And it took a minute to get used to it, but it I really like it now. So I got me one of these. And then I saw these beautiful ones. And I'm going to take one out of the packaging so I can show you better. I think I can get it out of the packaging. Ah, okay. So, oh... God bless it. I broke it. Ain't that some... Well, I can glue it. Okay. Well, guess what? It was um, a six millimeter hook. But just trying to get it out of the package, look. The hook came off. They're really fragile. But look at the handle. I'm going to try and glue it back on, though. I got some really powerful glue. Tisk, tisk. Anyway, the handle is like really squishy. 
All right, let's see if I can get this other one out of the package. I'm scared now. I'm scared. Okay, so we're just gonna rip it down the middle there and very gently pull it off. Okay, so this is a K. This is a six and a half millimeter hook. And this is what it looks like. And I just thought the handles were super pretty. The top is plastic. Ah, that's BS. I didn't put it through that much stress. That is fragile. I don't know now. I mean, yeah, I can glue it back on. Get some super glue or something. E85 stuff. Or... That's disappointing. You know what? That's okay. I'm not going to freak out over it. I'm kind of freaking out over it. Um, so. Right on camera too. I just. Anyway, I got two of these pretty hooks. Okay. I just like the colors on them. I like the squishiness of the handle. It's very squishy. They are kind of short. You know, depending on how you crochet, my pinky's barely hanging on. F. The rating for this is an F. Failure. <laughs> um, anyway, so I got those hooks. And then they had this bag. It was originally $21.99. Half off, you guys. Half off. Look at... Isn't that just gorgeous? It's a project bag. It's got pockets on the front and the back. It's very, ooh, and on the side, on both sides and the front and the back, it's got pockets. It feels pretty durable. It's like padded and very nice. I really like it. And it's got butterflies all over it. Isn't that just so pretty? Yes, this reminds me of my friend Cynthia from Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Oh my goodness. We, if you know Cynthia, you know she's a butterfly girl. Yes, she is. She loves her butterflies. Look at, every time I look at this bag, I'm going to be thinking of Cynthia. I love her so much. But yes. It's actually quite square if you fold out the bottom properly. And it's got all the pockets and everything. It's either, even got a zipper pocket on the inside. 11 bucks. 11 bucks. Woo! <laughs> wow, this is turning out to be some video, huh? And then my favorite thing, because everyone's been talking about it, and I looked up their website, and I didn't see anything, and I just thought, you know what? You know what's going to be great for gluing this back together? What's going to be great for gluing this back together is some jewelry glue, okay? Have you ever used jewelry glue like... OMG, that stuff, you get it stuck to your fingers and it's like uh, trying to get them apart. Like nothing can escape jewelry glue. Jewelry glow, glow. See, I, I get excited and then I can't even talk. I can't even talk. Um, but yeah, jewelry glue. That'll stick some stuff together, let me tell ya. You never get those anything apart once you use jewelry glue on it. Okay, yeah, that's I'm gonna do that. Um, anyway, what the everyone's been talking about this special yarn bowl, you guys. This special yarn bowl that is not on their website. You have to go to Hobby Lobby and see if yours has one. And there was only one at my Hobby Lobby. And I grabbed it right away. Like, it's mine. Like, I might have had words with somebody if someone else was there to take it from me. 
But luckily, I was the only one in that aisle, and I'm like, it's mine. That's mine, okay? So even though I'm mostly a coffee drinker, I do drink tea now and then, and I got the tea yarn bowl. Look at it. That's where your yarn goes. And it says, time to unwind. Isn't that precious? And it's even got the little tea tab thing, paper thing in it with the tea bag string. Or maybe that is the tea bag. Yep, time to unwind. That's a little... Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with myself. <laughs> but look, it's got the little tea bag and then the little tea string. And then the little tab that says time to unwind and I got me one it's got flowers all over it it's so pretty oh my goodness I can't believe I found one I can't believe I got it oh my goodness this was originally $15.99 I got it for half off half off. I've never owned a yarn bowl ever in my life. I didn't want to pay the prices. $45, $50, $60, $70 dollars for a wooden yarn bowl? No, thank you. No, thank you. I'll use my little ice cream bucket or whatever, but I've never owned an actual yarn bowl. And now I do. I own one. Isn't it cool? Look again. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> anyway, I literally just got back from Hobby Lobby so I could get on my phone and record this and show you guys because I was so excited. Anyway, I think today was the last day for this. Um, they had their yarn for 30% off also. I didn't buy any yarn. I, I don't need any yarn. And, <coughs> excuse me, frankly, nothing in there, like, excites me until it's on clearance. So, anyway, that is my video. Um, thank you for watching and enjoy, and joining in in my excitement of this little haul i hope you enjoyed it you guys take care and be safe do random acts of kindness show compassion and love and mercy to each other be understanding because it's so easy to judge each other when we also have so much that can be judged about us so be compassionate and caring and do it for the sake of humanity and all of humankind. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.